Congratulations, look amongst you, fresh-faced, excited, raring to go. You're the graduating class of 2013 and you've just spent four years at university studying to become a registered nurse. But the responsibility of your job hits you when you first step foot into that nursing home. You're the only nurse on duty, supervising five carers with up to 100 aged care residents. The average resident's 85 years old, taking eight medicines and has multiple medical conditions. They're relying on you to manage their medicines and their health. Your staff are relying on you to be there when they need you, and most particularly to provide governments and leadership in medicine management. Our quality improvement study was designed to support this aged care workforce, so that when you step into that nursing home and put on your medicine manager hat, you feel that you have access to evidence-based tools and resources so you can administer medicines safely and accurately. In turn, we can ensure that medicines are administered accurately for these aged care residents. What we did with this study is that dose administration aids are commonly used in nursing homes to administer medicines. They arrange medicines according to the day of the week and time of the day that they're taken, and they're prepared by pharmacy staff for nursing homes. But very little evaluation has been conducted into their use or quality improvement. And our study was designed to address this gap. I visited nursing homes across Victoria, 49 in total, to assess how accurately medicines were packed in these devices. And I found errors, wrong dose, wrong strength, damaged tablet, and there's a few pictures there. I then conducted focus groups with pharmacists and nurses and asked them why were these problems happening? And two major issues came up, poor communication and poor relationship between the pharmacy and nursing staff. One pharmacy staff member said to me, look, it's like we're two different worlds apart, the pharmacy and the nursing home. And one registered nurse said to me, I'm looking at moving back into the hospital system. I don't have the support I need in nursing homes. So we developed quality improvement tools to address these issues. The poster, bookmark and sticker above me to ensure that staff checked medicines, they identified errors, they in communicated with pharmacies when they found them, and most particularly, when a medicine change happened, did the nursing home tell the pharmacies so they could pack medicines accurately? I then used an audit and a survey to assess how accurately these tools performed. The audit found that certain medicine errors did reduce in frequency. Moisture-sensitive tablets, at least, were packed less commonly, like that white tablet in the top left-hand corner. And the survey did show that staff in our study did feel satisfied with the tools we implemented in the nursing homes and pharmacies. So I hope with our quality improvement study, we're able to support this aged care workforce so they can continue the wonderful work they're doing, administering medicines and monitoring the health of our older generation. Thank you.